Brazilian sprint promo. Um, we're really excited to be able to share a, a new design sprint with you, which has been designed in partnership with the Australian Pacific Climate Partnership, as well as PNGO's Partnership Secondary Schools. Um, what we're going to do is to explore the challenges around storms. We know that data is telling us that while we might get actually fewer storms in the Pacific, they are going to be much, much more powerful um, with the impact of human uh, climate change. So we're going to be exploring in this design sprint what, me what it means to be a healthy and resilient community. What are the factors which um, keep our community resilient to climate change and to the impacts of, of weather in particular? And in this particular weather, we're talking about um, storms. And here's a great example of the Christmas Day hailstorm up in the highlands of Papua New Guinea, which destroyed many um, crops there. So we'll explore some data. We'll explore some stories so we deeply understand the challenge. We'll use design thinking, which many of you are now very aware of and, and great at using. Um, we'll understand the, the challenge of storms and the impact of storms from empathy. You'll define a how might we question for your particular community, come up with some great ideas to tackle your, your how might we question and build some prototypes to share um, your ideas and then rinse and repeat as much as you want to. So we'll use this design thinking process to look at innovations and how we can innovate. So here's a couple of examples, concrete canvas for after um, really bad storms which have destroyed houses. This is an inflatable um, dwelling which actually uses a, a really interesting material which is canvas but with built-in concrete so that you can create a really solid structure very, very quickly. And on the other hand, sometimes during storms we lose electricity, one of the things that we'll examine during the design sprint. And Luminate here is a, a bag which floats, it can be attached to things, um, and it glows and provides light for up to three years with no moving parts. So some really interesting innovations that we can explore um, around what we can do to prepare for, to be more resilient towards storms when they do happen, and then to deal with the aftermath of storms um, as well in Papua New Guinea. So we're really excited to see what you could design um, in terms of uh, preparing and becoming more resilient in the face of things like storms.